All right, what's up guys? Jared Campisi with my good buddy Dotto and the Teener Wieners. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a Corvette C8 build. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Teen's tires were low, so uh, she pulled the car in to get it fixed. I've driven in more this week than I have the past two years. Our, have this car. our Urus is still Urus in the shop right now. Here. Yeah, we're, we're waiting it's for wheels to get powder coated, but um, they should be hopefully back tomorrow. 24. So, yeah. yeah, that one was 24. They're supposed to be at 30, so he's fixing it. As he was putting pressure in uh, the front left, this thing, it, it was beeping, and this light was flashing to let him know, I think, that it was at the right pressure. Let's see if it does it again. That was pretty wild. But while he's doing that, um, we are going to be working on the BMW today. We're going to be adding more carbon to this bad boy. Don't forget, you can enter to win this bike, patreon.com slash Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. I apologize for my voice. I have a bit of a sinus infection. So, uh... Yeah, Nah, my Diablo key battery needs replaced too. It didn't flash. It didn't this time, huh? No. It did last time. Okay, anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Since you guys never get to see the Corvette on the channel, you wanna start it up for us? Oh, my pleasure. Such a nice car. Bad speed exhaust on it. Sounds really good. Look at that thing. That's a badass car, dude. I think we paid 99 for this thing, and that was like fully decked out. At the time, you could get these for 65, probably. Yeah, it auto sensed it. Yeah. Yeah, this is. My my R8, I have to reset it myself. Yeah, none of them are as good as this, but this one somehow costs less. Oh, I love it. Well, the Z06 is gonna be rad when you get that. Wait, you, you gotta rev it. You gotta rev it. Fab speed. Yeah, they sponsor us. When you start this thing in the morning, it's so loud. It so the cats all, all take the cats off running. running. Yeah. I go running. Sounds pretty good, huh, Dotto? I really like the sound of that. Yeah, it's it's a V8, American V8. Can't beat it. Yeah. Um, all right, we're gonna pull some carbon parts out of the box. We'll get some BTT unboxing, and then uh, we'll get to work. I, I told Dotto I, I need whiskey. Oh, I've been carrying this around because I have to blow my nose every 30 seconds. For his asshole. Teens, try. I think you need to have some spice For cider. Asshole. You're my asshole. What do you think? <laughs> it's it's good, but I could like. I want to see. I want to see. Spice cider. I want to see you take a the, sip of that. Alcohol. You're gonna take a sip of that. My body jitters. Yeah. Jitters. All right. Will you pour me something? Yeah. You should have something this for Jer Bear. Warmed up. Jer that would be actually it's pretty good. And should not be drinking alcohol. Meh. Hey, so how do you think he's gonna get better? Since everybody was hating on the GoPro footage, we're back to the G7X. I think. The overall picture quality of this, even though it's 1080p, and the audio quality is the best by far. It's just uh, when it has focusing issues, but I think that the like maybe five seconds out of a 20 minute video that has focusing issues, I think it's totally worth it. That's my personal preference, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, what are you giving me here? <laughs> you get this hunter proof rebel. <laughs> it is so good. Good. That's what I need. It'll just murder everything that's in my body. Yeah, we're gonna smoke it. Perfect. Though. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, let's smoke that puppy out. By the way, thank you. Oh Literally yeah. Literally to like piles of people who are ordering <laughs> stuff for me. I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's awesome. I love it. And uh, apparently the whiskey decanters are. Dude, they're, they're, I, I knew they were gonna be popular. There's su and they're such good Christmas gifts too. All your stuff, the smoker kits, the decanters, all Perfect that stuff. For the Perfect for the holidays, baby. Yeah. Everybody get hammered with us. And you guys know it's always linked in the description below. All Dotto's social media stuff so that's the easiest way to just even my only fans to get to that yeah that's him and I have a, a couple's only fans page oh my God, what? <laughs> you didn't know about it teams yeah yeah that's how we make all of our money all this other stuff is just for show look at this perfect for the holiday season thank you sir BTT's here to help us she's gonna reach in our box of goodies from Moto Million don't forget guys if you go to motomillion.com you can use my code can you save yourself some money some moolah, some dollar dollar money, bills. Money, 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 money. You're, you're helping us, we're helping you, it's people helping people. Is this, uh, are we doing mud nuggets? The twins, you're helping the twins. We gotta keep, we gotta keep, uh, I don't see, I don't even know where I was going with that. That's, that's what happens, I just completely, alive. I meant clothed, the, the twins nice and warm, that's what that I was going with. first mud nuggets. Did you? All right, so, this it's is gonna rear. be weird because we're actually it's replacing yeah, it's the rear. Yeah. We're replacing carbon pieces with carbon pieces, which I've never actually done before. But the main reason is because of the, I think the weave is almost identical, but just in case it isn't. That looks way nicer. Yeah, oh, you think it looks better than the stock one? Oh, yeah. Look at the quality of that car. 
Yeah, actually, I think it does too. I don't know if it comes off on camera. The the only thing is it won't actually, have the, the leaf M. goes a whole different uh, direction too. Yeah, so, so we wanted all the carbon to be exactly the same. So that's why we're using all full six carbon. Yeah. So we're gonna replace the uh, rear fender today, uh, the front fender, which, <clears throat> excuse me has these stupid things on which you could just remove if you wanted to save money but then you're gonna have this square cut out there which i just don't like again the m's gonna be gone don't worry there's 45 other m's on the bike so that's totally fine and is that the front one yeah yeah there she is and as teens would say the mud huggers mud huggers the mud huggers back from when we uh started the build five from, years the, ago. from the 959 build yeah yeah the there it is the tron helmet it. The Tron helmet slash me, mud hugger. Uh, model it for you. By the way, Dotto, people were messaging me thinking we were starting our own distillery. <laughs> so the decanters were just like, it's an example of what it could look like, you know? We're not actually distilling alcohol. We don't have the license for that. But maybe someday. Yeah, if you can find that. If I Good luck. Find and Manny just shipped out a bunch of other stuff. We were kind of, everything was has been delayed because of um, the hurricane. Uh, I hope everyone in Florida is safe, by the way. But um, it was that was weird, a November hurricane, like what the heck? I'm a big weather guy, I love like weather phenomena and stuff. Did you find it? Yeah. No way. So anyway, yeah, we would have had other parts to, to do here. That is actually gonna be that badass. That's gonna be good. Look at that. Uh, that's, Whoa. Yeah. Look at that, look at the difference. And then we need this, we need this. Yeah, so the tank is still being built by full six, along with the subframe, so there's nothing we can do about that. Um, uh, and then we have the frame covers coming, thank God. We have these coming as well, and then a whole host of other parts uh, coming. So yeah, it's gonna be freaking badass, but I think that's what we're gonna do today. If that goes really, really fast, maybe we'll try and see if we have anything else in there we can throw on, but um, I feel like dog shit, so I'd rather it go fast today, and then next week we'll get back to it. Thank you, Tina Wieners. Okay, she's now a cheerleader. <laughs> okay. Uh, look at that. Honestly, I don't care what anyone says. I love the quality of this camera. I know that the, the focus is annoying. I wish they would just come out with an updated version of this. Well, they already did, but it, that one sucked too. I'm tired and he's sick, so. To being sick and tired. Cheers. That's what I needed. I can't taste it at all. That's how screwed up my taste buds are. By the way, I took a COVID test. I am not COVID positive. It is a sinus infection. Are you positive? I've had it my whole life. I'm positive. I, wow, have, I used to have a deviated septum, <laughs> and so I used to get sinus infections that would last all winter long. They, you um, get it every year at this time. Yeah, as but as soon as the temperatures drop. In Pennsylvania, as soon as seasons yeah, change. Yeah, not in California. Yeah, not so much in California, but it's just something I got I got to live with. The cool thing is, I can literally take the most ridiculous alcohol and drink it straight, and I can't taste anything. So you shouldn't be drinking. You're wasting it. What? I still enjoy it. And it makes me feel good. God, what an idiot. Well, I realized that we, I think we have titanium bolts for every piece of carbon on this bike. So, since we're going to be doing the front fender, I think we can... <laughs> Look at this. These are all pro tie blue titanium bolts. Trim cover, upper... Oh, and we even have the upper bolts too, I think. Dude, this is insane amounts of bolts. Holy crap. Windshield... Oh, there's the windshield bolts. That's going to come back off anyway. Oh my god, titanium front whiskey fender. rocks. I found it. Front wheel fender. Look at those. So there's four of them. You wanna use wanna do those today? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. We get a little peek of how the bike's gonna look. That's probably all we need. So Dado got the smallest pair of scissors you could find. I got my it's they're castration scissors. <laughs> for horses and donkeys. <laughs> oh my god. Are they really? No. Oh. They're shears for the metal, but who cares, right? What do we think about these? Wow. Dude, Dude. the quality, the camera's not gonna be able to pick up how it does, these actually. Are. Really? Yeah. Looks really good. They're freaking race <laughs> titanium, uh, <laughs> titanium race bolts. Uh, I said, I said it's uh, it races the money out of your bank account. <laughs> Look, what does it say here? Look. <laughs> Fully forged TI64 for racing. Yeah, pro tie. Yeah. How badass are those? Just and we have a whole set for the entire bike. Sweet. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we'll do the front fender first then. Hey, hold on. Huh? These will really tie the bike together. Ah, I like what you did there. You're very punny. Ah, ah, ah. What were you using there, Dado? What is this guy? This? Yeah. It's a motherfucking Starbit. 
Is it a star bit? T25. Okay, T25. Yeah. Star bit. Okay. Oh, you're filming? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, this is off. Wait, so there was nothing running up in on this one? No. Oh, that makes it way easier. Dude, remember when we did the uh, Ducati one, how much of a pain in the ass it was just to get the bolts out? Let alone the stupid ABS cord that Everything runs. was tied in. The oh, fuel my. tank was folded to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's no point of weighing these because they should be identical. Actually, this has the massive reflectors on the side. That's true, but, but whatever. Who look, cares? Every ounce counts, but he's sick, so we're not weighing shit. Yeah, we're going to just move just on. Oh, my God. It looks like a... You know those bikes they ride in India with the skinny front tires? Oh, That's yeah. It, it kind of does. It. it does. What it makes happened? the tire look really skinny. Wow, I don't like it. He's got the, um, is this non-copyright music? <laughs> this sounds like a normal song to me. Fender slid on. Oh shit, what am I running into? <laughs> He's putting bolts in right now. The tie bolts, look at that. The first blue tie, dude, look at that. I actually was asking Manny if we could get, because we're going to upgrade these calipers, because these are, um, what are they called? Um, uh, what's that company? Nissan, these are Nissan calipers that they just put an M on. Nice try, BMW. Ain't gonna fool me. They're not Nissan, they're missing. <laughs> missing the mark. Um, ah. So he's gonna give me Brembo, and I wanted to get the um, nickel plated ones. That actually, they, they have some um, ones that they had custom painted. I wanted the blue ones, but they're sold out of those. Oh my God, brake dust. Stop touching them, Jared. So he's giving us red ones. So I think we're gonna do red in the front, and then he doesn't actually have calipers to replace these in the back, so it'll be blue in the back. So it'll keep with the asymmetrical, uh, you know what I mean? A asymmetrical Seven style. Seven newton meters. Correct. Seven newton meters, it says on the bolts what that, what that is. But look at that, guys. That looks incredible. I actually love the blue next to the blue caliper. It's a shame. Man, come on, paint some calipers blue for us. What the heck, I know you got all kinds of paint going on down there. Just take one and just paint it with, with your dorsal fins. What? Seven Newtons. I love this the sound. It's not it's not sounding. It's not working. Don't do this to me, Dotto. It sound it feels really tight. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to that. <laughs> Yahtzee! No no response. Look at it. I her. wasn't listening. I was watching a cat video. Uh on TikTok? No. Oh liar. Did you get them? Uh, I got this side. Okay. Um, we're gonna do this one and then we're gonna move on to the rear fender. Maybe. Okay, don't act like you're a part of this now. You used to be so helpful in the old videos. That's true. We didn't want her screwing. We didn't want her screwing stuff up. Remember that video, Dotto, where she was acting like she was twisting a thing and she had the Allen wrench in the middle of the triple tree and was just spinning it? You called her out, you were like, you guys gotta see this. She goes, why are you saying anything? Like, what are you doing? She had an here? Allen wrench in the middle of the triple tree, just spinning it, acting like she was working on stuff. That's true, I actually was editing the video and I thought you were, I thought you were doing work. All right, uh, let's move on. All right, tank cover next. And again, unfortunately, this will be coming back off. Hey, there's little washers, nylon washers on here. Just so you know. Really? Yeah. Um, you better wash it. <laughs> This will come off again when, when we get the tank, so unfortunate, but un we don't have like the parts that we want right now, so they actually, sh a bunch of them will be arriving on Monday, I think, next week, so that'll be good. But, um, oh my god, he's breaking everything, it's all broken. Oh, here's the finished product of this. Look at that. And it is, it is snug. Looks incredible. That's a little tape. Imagine the whole bike with this and these everywhere. It's gonna be incredible. <laughs> All right, he's throwing washers everywhere. This thing's coming off. It's three bolts and then there's what? Two plugs right here, or what are these called? I can't hmm. even, clamps? Clips. Clips, thank you. Oh, and there's uh, Velcro too. I noticed that, um, yeah, the new one doesn't have Velcro on it, which kind of worries me, but these little pieces on a the carbon, they're uh -huh. actually 3D printed. That's pretty funny. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, well, remember that we're this gonna have a heavy. tank for it as well. There's your bib. Feels really your heavy. Iron Man bib? Feels really heavy. <laughs> he transferred over the grommet from the old piece to the new one. Is that the only thing that gets transferred? We should put the Velcro on there. I can pull Wait. the other pieces off, but I think we bought Velcro. That's gonna work. Oh, you're gonna put new Velcro pieces on it? Let me see if I have the... Uh, 
Is it even worth it though? Because yeah. we're gonna replace that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. What was that? This, these are tape drawers? <laughs> drawers are just tape. Listen, bro. This is absurd. Listen, when you need tape, you know where to go. <laughs> like, what? Why? Look at all these rolls. Just full drawers of tape. Okay. Feel this, though. How yeah, amazing. I actually have. Uh, Whoa, that's soft. Look at, dude, look at this. It's Tessa tape. Tessa. Remember? Elon Musk. Elon Musk tape, yeah. Yeah, so I got a couple. There's <clears throat> one tape drawer. Oops. One tape drawer here. Someone doesn't put his tape back See? properly. See? One tape drawer. Uh -huh. Look, there's more underneath. This is ridiculous. So, one tape drawer here, right? Then I have my masking tapes here. <laughs> my little Teflon. There's no way there's more tape. No. Okay, thank God. Alright, he couldn't find his Velcro drawer, so we decided we're just going to remove it from the stock. Peace. I want to put Velcro back on there because it should really be holding everything down. Well, hopefully the tank comes with Velcro. Um, yeah, the tank should, if not, we'll swap that too, but, um, <laughs> the sticky's no longer sticky, so I'm re-sticking it with this Loctite. Geppetto will be proud. <laughs> Isn't that what you use for my basement floor? Yes. Perfect. So, we're gonna try to match where these go, and that's precisely where it needs to go. Yep, that's perfect. Because I know. The dotto eyeball. It actually is pretty easy to tell, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Almost looks like a landing strip from a girl's hoo-ha. That's a pretty nice squirt off hoo-ha <laughs> strip. That's a perfect landing strip. If you guys think Teen should have a landing strip for her OnlyFans page, let me know. In the comment section below. Which with, might be impossible. With, it's been laser it's been lasered now. With JC <laughs> letters in there. <laughs> She's not even paying attention. Okay. That one okay. goes here like that. Uh-huh. And then uh -huh, uh -huh. now we need drink while that dries. Perfect. All right, so while the glue on the Velcro um, dries, we're gonna remove this rear. Like I said, remember how I told you there's a million M's on this bike? Yeah, there's two more right here on both these pieces for some reason. Like they, they need to Oh God. Sorry headphone users, blame God. We do have titanium bolts for this, but I think that these are gonna come well, at least one of these is going to come back off and again. And you have to take the front bolt and this bolt out. In otherwise, order to move it? Yeah, otherwise yeah. you'll get it jacked up. There's also a plastic little Jeez, one here and one on the other side. Hernandez. And then this can come off. Okay, perfect. Look at this little, all these tools Dado has. The only one that worked was this little stuff. <laughs> it's stuck now. Phillips head. Is it really? It's plastic and they suck. Like yeah, why? Can we replace these? Yeah, we can. We, we just weld the carbon right on. <laughs> I'll epoxy it straight on in a fucking bike. What an asshole. This bad boy's coming off. Were those bad three, boys, bad boys. Were those three screws Actually, plastic? Actually, I think there's another one. No, -uh, there is. Yeah, there's one right behind here and we're never going to be able to get it off. But. Do we have to take the, do we have to take the um, exhaust off? Let's take the exhaust off. Dude, it. it's plastic just like everything else, so oh. let's pry it out. Just like all the girls on Instagram. <laughs> They're all plastic. <laughs> Look at that bullshit. You got it. It's okay, I'll take it over the go. So, a little advice here, especially if you have this little chode of an exhaust. <laughs> this plastic piece is impossible to get out, especially with the exhaust sitting right yeah. there. So what I did was I used this. You threw that, it over there. Oh, under. I threw it because I was angry. <laughs> um, this is a clip removal tool. You just shove that guy right here and pry it out so the whole thing came out. And then you can either extract it or put a new one in or whatever you want to do. Yeah. But anyways, that's out. It takes like five seconds yeah. instead of it's, messing around. Yeah, it's trying to fucking unscrew it. So that's done. Look at that. So I wanted to mention a couple of things. One, these clips on the factory fender that hold lines now get tucked under this really nice. Oh, nice. So you don't get shoddy looking lines yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And another thing that I noticed is this is cut out differently here. Uh huh. And where this is is a little bit different. So I'll have to figure that guy out. Can you still transfer that over? Um, I do believe that it does get transferred over. That's why they have a cut out like this. So you can see. Oh. I think it goes like it sits somewhere like that. Yeah, okay. There. Gotcha. All right. So the next thing, if you guys are installing this rear mud hugger, <laughs> mud hugger. Um, what I did was I put the clip on it, even though there's no hole to mount it. I put the clip on and let me show you here. He confirmed that it lined up perfectly. When you, yeah, when you install the clip right in the center with this little tab and drill a hole right there, that's where the chain guard um, 
bolt attaches to. Yeah. And my guess is the reason why they didn't pre-drill a hole is because probably some people don't run the chain guard. Oh. Or if you have an extended swing arm or yeah. something like that. So um, we will have to drill that. So If we want to run a chain guard. Are we running a chain guard? Yes. I think we have a, another one to replace this. Yeah, we do. So let's do that. Let's I like just, chain guard. Let's just drill stuff. Let's yeah. put a bunch let's of holes do in it. <laughs> As always, to drill carbon, you always want to put tape on the side that you're drilling from. You never want to drill from underneath. I don't know if that's true. That's just what the fuck I do. So don't only, judge me. Only drill from the top. <laughs> only drills. <laughs> dot com. Only drills. <laughs> um, so I put the clip where it belongs, lined it up with this back piece. There's tape on there, so it's not going to splinter. And I, at least I hope, make sure that the finger you use the least is underneath. That way, if you get stabbed. Perfect. And then you just kind of. What size drill bit? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm on a hammer drill, so that's not going to work. <laughs> Save that for the bedroom. There we go. <laughs> uh. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Alright, while Dotto drills. Oh, I fucked it. God damn it. Damn it, Dotto. There we go. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna smoke him a drink. I'm gonna make myself useful for once. That's pretty ridiculous. Christina's not used to that. That 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 smokes so much, dude. Mine does not work. You need that a well. you need a good one. I need to get one of these. Holy shit. You're Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, let's see how my drink turned out. All right, so I'll show you a little trick that I do, right? You take a carbide drill bit and you dip it in wax, like that, and then let it dry off a little bit. You just put it right, no, just kidding. I was gonna I say, no what is what this doing. guy doing right I'm now? I'm gonna drink. Hey, hey, I made you a drink. Wait, wait, wait where, where's mine? It's probably full of antifreeze, but thanks. Cheers, bud. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to all you guys. I poured you a stiff drink. <laughs> All right, so I drilled it. I had to put a new clip on because the drill bit actually caught the other clip and snapped it. So that's good to go. Everything's clean. Pull At least the tape it wasn't off. the carbon, huh? Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna throw this puppy on. I hate to use the plastic, but that's what we're gonna use, the plastic clips. The clips, yeah, the fasteners. So. It's okay. Question is, does it line up, Dotto? That's oh, the I don't question. Know. It's carbon, so. <laughs> Probably not. Um, no, let's see, good. so this needs to go on the outside like that. Dude, there that looks go. so good. Done. We'll just put a little fire. piece of tape on it. Zip tie that shit. Let's go. All right. So while Dado puts in that last stupid plastic screw over there, um, he was just mentioning how Full Six literally thought about it when they were designing this piece and hid hid those lines right there instead of having it just connected on the side of the carbon. It's little things like that that really nobody would even notice. Probably most people, unless you're a mechanic or you watch these videos. But that's stuff like for me that goes a long way too because I'm all about designs, aesthetics, and stuff like that. So I think that's that's really cool how they did that. So we're gonna finish this one last uh, screw, and then we're gonna put the top piece on, and then we're gonna be done. All right. So we get to see how the 3D printed little tabs are, which I'm a little worried about. I know, they look like they're just gonna break the These off. are super tight. Yeah, that looks good. They're Loctited. Just how we like it. Geppetto would be happy. Uh-huh. And then this fits something Damn, like that. that looks good. Wow. How, how are I cannot wait until the people who said started. don't change this paint scheme, like honestly, like how, how are you telling me this looks better than this? Someone explain that to me. It's making its trek to the dark side, folks. Someone's gonna explain it to you. It's making its trek to the dark side. The people who complain aren't even gonna watch this video like this long people into that it. People complain, they you just know what I mean? Complain to complain. Yeah, they do. It's all good. We still appreciate you watching, regardless. <laughs> There it is, tank covers on. We didn't use the titanium bolts that we have. Um, we'll save those for when we get the tank, but it looks incredible. Like, I, 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 I absolutely love carbon fiber, and glossy has grown on me quite a bit. Oh, and now here, you can actually see the difference between the weaves. This is a stock carbon right here, and then this is the uh, full six carbon. And, um, I mean, they're both great, honestly. Uh, but I just want them all to match, so that's gonna get replaced as well. So, front fender is on with the titanium pro-tie bolts. Rear fender is on. Looks incredible. And then the tank cover is on. And then, actually, I think the next video we might be, I'm not sure yet. We have our seat cover, we could do that. We have the frame covers coming, so it just depends when stuff arrives, so we'll see. Um, ideally, I'm trying to do inside out, so we don't have to take stuff off again, but um, again, yeah. We're at the mercy of getting the parts that we need, so it's trying to do the best that we can. So, yeah, that's it. Um, 
thank you for listening to my ridiculous sounding voice for 20 minutes or however long this video is. Uh, thank you, Dotto, for your hard work. Yeah. Thank you, Tina Wieners, for the unboxing. Thank you, Manny, for the parts. Motomillion.com, use code CampEasy. Uh, don't forget, you can enter to win this bike. Patreon.com slash CampEasy Custom is always the first link in the description below. That's how we fund these builds. So we massively appreciate everyone who supports the projects. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.